All right, I'm going to show you how to configure port mirroring on a Cisco switch or Cisco switches for port mirroring. So first of all, you need to have your devices all up. And so here we can see I have a couple of devices. I have two computers, Alice and Bob, a switch in between, and then down here a sniffer. So we want the sniffer to be able to see all the communication between Alice and Bob. Currently, there is no port mirroring configured on the switch. So I pull up this, this uh, sniffer and I can see that it is grabbing traffic right now. A lot of Spanish tree protocol and that's nice, but I want to edit that. So I'll clear all these filters, edit it. And all I want to see is the ARP traffic and the ICMP for the ping packets. So I can make sure that it's actually gathering data. Clear everything I've collected so far. And then I see nothing. Now I'm going to go configure Alice to ping Bob. So I bring this down, run the command prompt. And Bob's IP address, we can see in the past she's pinged him. We can see Bob's information. So I will do ping. And let's bring up the uh, sniffer while we're at it. Keep the sniffer here. Ping. 192.168.0.11. So when I ping Bob, his IP address, you can see that I don't see the ICMP packets at all, but I do see the ARP packet. The reason I see the ARP packet is because it hits the switch when Alice is trying to figure out where Bob is, and the ARP packet goes out, and then Bob responds, and you can see one ARP packet, which is what we expect to see. Now I want to configure it so that the sniffer will see the ICMP packets as well. So I go to the switch, and I bring it down, I enable it, and then I want to go into global configuration mode. I need to set up a monitor, so monitor session. So I do monitor session, and I'll do session one for all this. And I want to monitor both the source and the destination. So Alice and Bob. So Alice is on FA01, and Bob is on FA02, and the sniffer is on FA024. So Monitor session one, source, FA zero slash one, actually interface, source, interface, FA zero slash one, and zero slash two. So I'm using both sources. And then I want to set up the destination. So I do monitor session, still session one, destination, and interface. FA zero slash 24. At this point, it's already monitoring and we're good to go. So I can just end out of there and close the switch and I can pull back up Alice and the sniffer. So here we can see if Alice now pings Bob again, same exact command, we can see a whole bunch of ICMP packets. So we know now we have sniffing set up and Alice can listen, or actually the sniffer can listen on Alice and Bob's communication. And you can look at these individual packets and see source and destination information to figure out what happened. So you can see the, the IP address is right here. This is from source Alice to Bob. And then right after it, you should expect to see one, once again, from Alice to Bob. This one here is Al oh, this is Bob to Alice. So you can see it's from Bob to Alice. And that's how you configure a sniffer. When configure mirroring on a Cisco switch.